Hey guys, this is Yuri from Java's Deva. Uh, just wanna showcase the recently installed lightsaber that I did. It's Augustine's lightsaber from Java's Junkyard. No relation here. I paid this by, with my own money, so it's not sponsored on anything. So just a little, a little bit disclaimer there. We have the same first store names Jawas maybe okay onto the hill so I bought this in, in with the elite metal chassis as you can see here it's here yeah, Jawas Junkia aim to be accurate to the EFX version so what I did is from the emitter, I did the bluing, uh, further edge, the shroud, so it got it gets darkened more, light weathering to the pommel, and for the veneer, uh, I treated with laser. Is it, is it what's it called? So it's basically. This type of varnish but mostly for outdoor furniture so because I live in high humidity hot temperature hot weather so it's it's best not to seal the woods so it's better to have them breathe breathable because varnish pretty much sealed the wood and any trapped moisture is going to be bad so as you can see this is the seam line um, I'm pre actually I'm pretty, happy. I'm pretty happy with how it turns out uh, just a little, a, a little tip for you if you haven't done this uh, after you moist the veneer when you try to wrap try to measure uh, make a cut or something remember that woods shrinks afterwards so if you measure when it's moist uh, the final the final measurement will be much less so basically for this veneers I I left like one millimeter excess and it's pretty much in line here yeah. and just a little gap in the middle uh, this is from sanding so okay happy with it I didn't get the clear resin part so I just add a real quartz crystal this is true to the EFX version so it's nicely design uh, so it's overall is compared to the v1 v2 this is much better v3 okay let's slide it up i already load the battery i'll show it uh, here's here's how you load it Right here, NPXL. So there are funny things on this chassis. Sash so I'll show you. The main thing, the main annoyance is the kill switch. There's a kill switch in here, but. Pointless, totally pointless. I'll show you. Maybe I'll just show you here. Okay. Okay, this is stock rotary connector, 28 millimeter speaker. And here's the kill switch. Totally useless. I have no idea why they put it here. For the users, you can't use your fingers, your fingernails, you have to use the user, can't reach this. 
why it's useless i'll show you why currently it's uh, in on position see the way you turn it turn this on just by tightening the pommel you tighten it it's off tighten it it's on. And second thing, what they didn't include, insert. So basically, okay. Magnetic switch. This is also magnetic. Uh, show you here. You can pull it by fingers. You can't. Well, you can't actually. I'll show you this why. You can't push. You can use your fingernails. Okay. Okay, why am I gonna okay? It's not a full removable. Okay, this is the crystals. Okay, here's the switch. Okay, another thing's annoying. Thing why I said this is one of the worst, probably the worst chassis design ever that I've encountered. Uh, I drilled a hole so I can access the battery negative. Otherwise, you will ha you will have hard time passing the wire. So I drill a hole just to make to pass on the wires here, the battery negative. This is the main butter, but main switch. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I actually didn't glue this, so I'll, so you have uh, like a plunging sensation from the switch. So this is the problem. Okay, maybe maybe I can show you here. See, the height is the problem. If you notice, this is actually the same switch. I pulled the top part off for this, but you still can you can use this still because there's no clearance. I've pushed this as hard as I can be. No, nope, this is the maximum clearance that you will have. Oh, well, maybe on the eye. So, so you still have clearance if. You don't use magnet. I actually did try to use magnet. You will have hard time to removing the blue thing. The blue thingy. You will have ha very very hard time. Even if you with tweezer, you can't. You can't. You can't pull it. So there's two things. No clearance you cannot use magnet so the thing i did is just remove the top part of the switch and luckily this switch is magnetic as you can see you can use this you can still use that okay so that's why I said this is one of the worst design ever. Uh, try to be true. I put. I don't understand the description by Leon. What he meant by two-pin connector for his, for the activation matrix. So I just use. What's this? A uh, four millimeters, three millimeter, three millimeters LED. So, yeah, this is the sachet battery. So let's put this on. By the way, this sachet is indexed by the blue activation matrix. So here, so you have to align the channel. Yeah. 
mana and then the second thing please make sure the the switch is right on the middle it's not a problem here because it's magnetic but this one make sure it's in the middle put your put this back on with your birth comes a solemn vow here's the So turn out quite nicely using real quotes. If you if you saw the picture that when I installed this, the the blue lights bleeding out from its side. So I paint the clear piece, the clear resin thing. I paint it black on its side so it doesn't bleed out the blue light. But we still have some blue lights from the chamber here. There's nothing I can do to that. There's nothing I can do. So yeah. As I said, I didn't glue it so you have the punching sensation. NPXL. It's on. Slide up. Oops. Stick your finger. Number one. Power. You want to, you want to fall in there. Master Ogus, I presume. Prince Arkham. Excellent. So yeah, here's one uh, Ogus in One of my unicorns. But if you're interested, just contact me. See ya.